Hola, todos. Hello, everyone. Hello, my dear UVs. And just had a big storm and thought it would be good to have a post post thunderstorm restorative seeded restorative melting mellow flow. <laughs> it's perfect for a sunny day after the rain and it's um, very refreshing so I just feel like a little bit movement of my body not so much but you know like just to release some of the stress I already starting to have its first day of the week it's been very hectic and stressful so I just feel like a ah, little restorative mountain flow all right I hope you'll enjoy with me and yeah, let's meet kneeling on our mat. Find yourself kneeling at the back of our mat. Take a big inhale and exhale. Absorb. That's what you need. The refreshing energy after the rain or wherever you are, the positive energy. And let's come into a tabletop. Some organic moves of your spine. Like any sort of organic spinal movement. The spine would just like be very lazy and very inspiring to start the flow. Open the right leg to the side, like wide open, so you can feel the stretch on the inner side. And just do a few runs of cat and cow with your spine and keep your hips square facing off front. Mm. The floor is still a little bit wet. Mm. And take a big inhale, open the right arms out towards the sky and open your chest towards the right side. Take a big inhale. Like you want to suck in all the air you want into the lung and thread, all the, thread the needles. Pointing the right hand all the way to the left and push your left hand off the ground. Feel this equal position and equal stretching opposite in stretch. Mm. We'll stay in each stretching pose a little bit longer so we have enough time to open our body. Just surrender. Let your body melt, you know. Sometimes it is difficult to stretch because we intend to fight against it. But if you totally let it go and relax your nerve, let your body melt, do what your body wants to do, then you find it easier to stretch out. And to place the left hand closer to your face and press off the ground. Lift the right arm once again to the sky and bring it in. Now we'll come in, we'll bring the, the both hands towards the right side of the mat. Just feel the little stretch on the left side of the torso, the lower back. A few rounds of sway with your spine, with your head. Oh. and come back to center, we'll change side, bring the right leg in, extend the left leg out. Oh, sorry, actually I wanted to come into a low lunge. So bring the right leg in and bring it in between your hands. We'll come into a low lunge. Lift your upper body up and press down through your 
tailbones just to feel the stretch, the open of your left inner growing. Lift the arms up. Oh. Mm. And bring the hips back, toes up, come into this half split pose. Spine long. Feel the stretch of your right hamstring. Like kick your hip backwards. But in the meantime, pull your right heel frontward so that you feel the stretch. And from here, place the left hand into the ground. Lift yourself up. Lift your right arm up. Revolved half split pose. A oh, little bit of balancing as well. And place your right hand inside of your right foot. Place your right foot a little bit to the out tier of the mat. Come into this lizard pose. So we're just like really focus on opening our hips, our thighs, groins. Hmm. Let yourself melt. Come to the edge of your right foot and face right or push the right knee outwards so you have a little deeper stretch and opening. Hmm. Pablito surely enjoys the sound. And the other two is totally in the sound. Wow, I still feel like in the sun. I can't, it's too hot. Now bring the right hand back. Now, now we bring the right knee back to meet the left. And we'll come to the left side. A few organic spinal movement. <sighs> to reset and we'll come into the left side now. Bring the left leg out to the side. Open up. Feel cat and cows in the spine. Mm. Press down through your right hand and lift your left. Inhale. Open towards the left. Oh, feel around the breath here. Just in this twist. And take a big inhale. Exhale, thread the needles. Bring the left arm all the way underneath your right. And push your right hand off the ground. Little in front of your head. Keep your uh, hip square. Feel this like stretching towards different angles. And pulling yourself towards two ends. Bring the right hand in. Lift your left arm once again. And bring it down. We'll bring the hand, both hands towards the left side of the mat so that we feel the stretch on the right side of the lower back. Mm. Feel organic sways of the spine. And come back to center. We will bring the left foot in between your hands, come into a low lunge. Just your position, lift your arms up. Mm. Open your heart towards the sky. Just being open-minded. You can even place your hands behind your neck, behind your head just for a little bit of support of the heart opening pose. Keep the elbows open. 
and push the hips back. Lift the toes, flex the toes, come into this half split pose. Mm. And bring the heel of the left foot a little bit in front of us. So we have a bigger range of motion, like stretch mo stretch range, range of stretching. Inhale here, exhale, bring the right left arm up. Mm. And place the left hand inside of your foot. Bring the left foot to the left side of the mat. Lizard. Now be creative. Just try to open up. Try to melt. Try your best to melt your body like mingle together with your mat. Hmm. Open the knee to the side with a little bit of support. Push from the left hand. Open the gaze up. Be hard, open hearted. Hmm. Now we'll come to the center and bring the left knee back to meet the right. Now we'll come into a child's pose for three rounds of breath. Tuck the chin into the chest, lift through the back of the heart. Wave all the way forward until your shoulders go over your wrist and your hips are dipping down towards the mat. Keep your glutes pinched so that your lower back is protected. And pointing your pubic bone down towards the mat, we'll melt ourselves down into the mat. And come onto our forehead, for forearms. <laughs> Springs pose. Wag the tails. Push down through the pubic bone. Wag the tail side to side. Inhale and exhale. Let the breath guide your feelings, guide your sensations. And bring, open your, yourself a little bit towards the right. Bring your right knee up 90 degrees. Half frog. It's like a frog. Oh, it's like a half frog because we only do on one side. And press through your elbows. Flex your toes so that your knee is protected. And if you feel like so, I highly recommend it. Press through your right hand, lift yourself a little bit up and thread the needles with your left arm all the way towards the right and rest on your left cheek. Press through your right fingertips to, um, off the ground so that your body is a little bit open towards the right side. You are like having a shoulder stretch in the meantime, half frog. <laughs> And come to center for we'll switch sides. First, come into this spring pose with half frog leg, and then gently bring the legs back with the support of your right hand, and come back to center. Inhale, press through your pubic bone, and exhale. Lift yourself open towards the left, and bring the left leg up 90 degrees. Flex the toes. Come into a half frog on the left side. 
And if you want to add up, press through the left hand and thread the needles of the right arm all the way underneath you. Rest on top of your right cheek. And we'll come back to center, push yourself up a little, bring the right hand, right arm under your face, and support with the left hand, bring the left leg back. Now we'll come into resting on our face. Okay, open your arms into a T. We'll do a scorpion pose on each side to stretch the shoulders. So we we'll start on the right side, bring your left hand in underneath your shoulder and push the ground away until you flip over with your left and leg, left foot and to place the left foot behind your right knee. And then you feel also in the meantime, the right shoulder stretch. Yeah. Hello, Nini. <laughs> Me, Nini. So cute. Come to Doga with Mama. My little girl just came in front of me and looking at me. So cute. All right, come back to center and we'll do it on the left side. Very gentle to your body. I have a little lower back pain these days. So I am having extra caution. Extend the right arm out and push through the right hand off the mat. And bring the right foot behind your left knee. Feel the stretch on the left shoulder. Push the ground away. Really feel into this stretch, this relaxation as well. We're releasing bit by bit the stresses stored in our bodies, you know. Different areas stores, store different stresses. I need to let them go and come back to center. Or try to find your own way to flip your body to face up in a graceful way or ungraceful way. It doesn't matter, just be gentle to yourself until we are laying on our back. All right, with your knees bent, lengthen the tailbones towards the heel and lift the knee up, bring the knee close to the chest. Just like sway your body side to side, feel the massage on the lower back. At least I need this massage because we just did some uh, the some back bend springs pose. It's a little bit intense, so we need some nourishment on our lower back right now. And come arms inside uh, the legs and come to hold the outside of our feet. Happy baby. Bring knees close to the armpits and kick the leg up to the sky while, while your hands are pushing down through the soles of your feet. And now, gently release. Keep the knees close to our chest, and we'll grab the mm, the back, the back, yeah, the 
the front side of our left foot underneath our right leg like this and hold at the ankle or the back of our left foot and bring the heel towards the glute the right sit bone and place the left knee down to the mat until your whole left leg is on the mat and you feel the quad stretch and bend your right knee bring your knee closer to your body with the support assistance of your left hand <sighs> make sure both of your sit bones are still grounded on the mat I feel like a twist so keep the right hand on top of your left ankle and twist towards the left side with your right knee with the support of your right left hand until your left knee is kissing the floor or towards that direction and make sure your left shoulder is still on the ground or at least trying to force your left your right shoulder kissing the ground as well so that you don't totally turn into the left twisting keep the right hand on the left ankle deep breathe it's so refreshing And come back to center. Release your left ankle. Bring both knees into the chest and sway side to side, massaging the lower back. Oh, my baby is right next to me, like sleeping next to me. Can literally touch her when I'm doing the lower back massage. How blissful I am right now. Baby, my baby, Mimi. My papa. All right, we'll do it on the other side. Lift your left leg up so that you can hold with your left hand on top of your right foot or ankle and bring it closer to your, bring the right heel closer to your left sit bone and place the knee down. Quad stretch and bring the left knee closer to the chest. Keep your lower back flat on the mat. And try to keep your right knee on the floor. So like this, you can feel the stretch on the frontier of your right leg, right side. A little twist doesn't harm, so we we'll gently Press the right knee towards the left side. I have to be careful with my knee. And continue until the right leg is touching the ground. But try to press down through your left shoulder here. It's like opposite forces again. They're working on the balance here. Like the legs want to go right, go to the right, and the shoulder wants to stay on the left. Sometimes your dog just comes to sleep with you on your mat. It's just so cute. <laughs> We'll come back to center. Yeah. Bring both knees in again. <sighs> Need a bit of massaging again. 
and we will roll the length of our spine a few times, you know, as many times as you want to come into a seated position. All right, let's roll and let's meet there. Make sure your chin is tucked into your chest to protect your neck. <clears throat> I love this rose too because it's also kind of massaging to my lower back. Okay, come into a seated position, the center of our mat. It's a seated melting flow. That's why it's called melting because the whole time we are either sitting or laying. <laughs> it's like my favorite flows in the afternoons, you know? Don't want to do so much energy flows in the afternoons. <laughs> All right, especially these days because I have a little lower back pain ish. So better just to be restorative and melting. All right, sit in the center of our mat, a little spinal wiggles to the right, to the left. Adjust yourself. Big breath in and out, and come back to center. Take a big breath in, lift your arms up, gaze forward, and bring hands together and come to heart center. One more time, in. Feel the length of your spine, spine sorry, and bring the right hand down to our side and come to the side bend of the left side. Wow, it's so juicy. Make sure your chest is still open, you know, like don't run. We'll come to that point later. Now we just focus on the side stretch of the left side. Stay here, another breath. And out. Inhale, now. And so we'll reach the left hand all the way towards the the uh, the left corner of our mat, like as far as you can reach, just like somebody is pulling you. But in the meantime, ground your left sit bone down towards the mat. So we have this opposition of forces again. And then you feel this stretch on the posterior of your left side. Oh, my God, so good. I can do it every, every day, multiple times. And inhale, open up. Still in the side stretch. Just open your chest towards the sky. And exhale, round over. Reach, reach, reach. And inhale, open. Last time, so rich. Stay in this rich for three rounds of breaths. Mm. Mm. Last inhale up. We'll come to the center this time. Lift both arms up. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Come to the side stretch on the right side. Pointing your right fingertips all the way towards the left and ground your sit bone, right sit bone down so that you feel the stretch. Very obviously, you know. And from here, we'll just do this open and close flow. Open, inhale. Exhale, reach towards the left. Right corner. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Oh my god, that feels so good. Inhale. And exhale, we'll stay here in this reach. <sighs> Mm. 
and inhale once again and bring your hands up take a big inhale exhale interlace the hands behind your lower back and pull them down towards the ground open your collarbone and your chest and bring the fist towards the left side of your lower back like this and keep your elbows close to each other like as if you can rest your fist your interlaced hands on top of your left side and twist towards the right try to place your interlaced hands on top of your left side during this twist keep the elbows close Fine, tall, breathing, enjoy the twist, release the interlace of the hand, place the left hand on top of the right knee, and open even more, and place the right hand behind us. Hmm. With the support of your right hand, lift your left arm up towards the sky yeah, this in this twist and opening motion open your chest one more time a little back bend and we'll come into this twist again and now we lift the right hand up inhale exhale cross all over to touch the right the left knee Bring the chin to the chest to round over. So juicy. And now since our arms are already crossed, so we'll just bring the arms into an eagle arm position. And I feel cat and cow with the spine with the eagle arm. Just bring the elbows away from the face. Yes, feel the Stretch between shoulder blades. And release the arms. And bring them into legs again behind our lower back. Open the collarbone. Oh. Inhale again. Exhale, place them on the right side of the lower back and twist towards the left. Try to place the hands on top of your right side. Keep the elbows together. We'll stay in this twist. Release the hands and place the right on top of the left knee. Left hand behind us for support. A little more twisting. And open the right arm up. Is the support of your left hand a little back bend and come back to twisting lift the left arm up inhale and exhale cross it over around your neck the whole time try to keep your core strong so that your lower back is protected and we'll come into an eagle arm Again, a cow here. It's just being organic. Release the arms. Open to the T. Back strong. And now we'll cross the right arm all the way towards the left and press with your left hand so that we have a little tricep tricep <laughs> tricep stretch mm. and open up again left arm towards the right open up and place both hands behind our back Open the legs, place the feet in front of us. Open the chest up and wind show the legs. 
little release on the lower back tension. I even heard a crack on my lower back. Wow. And reverse to the right side. Bring your body all the way to front the back side. Deer pose. This is a deer pose. <laughs> Support your bo upper body with both of the hands pressing into the ground. And feel the spinal twist here. And come back to center. Just like windshield again, side to side. We'll just come at a point to the left and twist your body all the way towards the back of our mat, mm, facing our doggies, <laughs> facing our sleeping doggy. <laughs> you can even come onto your elbow if you want for a deep, deeper sensation, a closer look at your doggy. Lift yourself up, welcome to center. Bring the soles of the feet together. It's a lot of sense since the storm. And bring the soles of the feet together, knees open. You can bring them a little bit far away from you or closer to, your, to you as you wish. So just open up, hands on the ankles and open up. Inhale, let the heart lead, bring it down. Head comes at last. We round over. Let your head rest here. It would be perfect. I have a block here. I forgot to bring it up. So I would just use my hand to support my head for a little rest. Softly take some inhales and exhales and push yourself up. Cross your legs, come back into a easy sitting pose. Take inhale and exhale. Put a smile on your face. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. A little bit of shoulder shrugs. <laughs> I like to do it suddenly. <laughs> relax, relax, let it out, shake it out. <sighs> I hope you enjoy this flow with me, with us. Um, yeah. So refreshing and it's Monday afternoon I feel like I've done a lot today and to end the day the day is not ended but it's like my working day to end my working day with a beautiful slow motion restorative melting seated melting flow is a wonderful idea I enjoyed it so much I hope you also did Thank you for being here with me and my doggies with us. And uh, I hope you like my class. And I'll see you in my next class. Adios.